Simon, uh, the perfect response from Saturday, Harrogate Town beating Stockport County, uh, Warren Burrell getting the, the final goal. What's your instant reaction from, from that game? Yeah, it's a great feeling. I, I thought the reaction of the players was superb. It, it took a bit of time for us to settle into the game. Um, I think the system that we employed, uh, which is my responsibility, um, was good against Solihull, but it restricted us uh, in the first half. We didn't really ask questions in behind their back line. And that's how we heard to them at Stockport. Wanted to stay faithful to to the team, um, but in hindsight, you know the system, uh, the way of playing tonight was the four four two. Get it wide um, and have a go at them, and, and try and get in behind them. And I thought we passed the ball ever so well on a heavy pitch, and it resulted in a, a, a fantastic uh, win for us. How pleasing is it for you as a manager when a gamble like that at half time does pay off? Oh, it's a great feeling, but the, the major feeling is um, again. You asked me after Solihull, but the um, the reaction of the fans to turning to the players turning round and winning the game from what looked to be a niggly, horrible game uh, that was probably could have well could have it looked to have been possibly decided one of those games where it could have been decided by a set play, and so it's a shame with the talent we've got. Um, a little gamble because it, it's sticky in the middle of the pitch um, to employ two centre midfielders, and whereas they'd gone like a four, four, three, one, two, so we were we knew we'd be outnumbered in there, but we've got gifted enough midfielders to get it out the middle and get it out wide. And um, Jack came on, and made a great contribution, and, and Jordan Thewlis was a real bright spark as well. Back in the top five after um, with and file losing as well tonight. How close is it going to be in, in that, that pl uh, play? Well, it's, there's a lot of games to go. I think 16 games to go. Um, we don't want to be that close you know, because we want to keep winning games and, and put real pressure on that top end and get better into the playoffs. And, uh, and who knows what may happen. Um, but as long as we perform like this and show the same grit and spirit and same togetherness on and off the pitch, then you know, we've got a chance. But we don't get ahead of ourselves and we learn from Saturday. Warren Burrell is making quite a name for himself uh, here at the CNG Stadium. Three goals in two home games for him as well as the winner tonight. Uh, that, that's exactly what you, you want from your midfielder. Right? Yeah, he's given us a real boost of energy uh, and he's he's added that finishing touch as well that probably we've lacked um, in a, this season, uh, that attacking force from midfield and drive. Um, he's got a good all-round ability and he's, you know, he's, um, he's integrated well with the lads and um, it fits in with the hungry mindset that we want. Going forward, obviously, you've got a, a couple of injuries from tonight. How worried are you about the depth of the squad currently with the, the amount of players on the sideline? Well, we know that we've, we've suffered injuries in the past and it, it's probably cost us two out of the last three seasons. That, um, But I think we've got... Yeah, we haven't got great depth in numbers, but we've got good quality players to be able to call on um, and it asks questions of that depth doesn't it I have to see how many are injured but it looks like Paul Thurwell Danny Ellis are, are struggling Dave McGurk's still not right so central defence is a concern um, I thought Nat Brown had his best game tonight since coming to the club um, so got, uh, Harry Coates as well who we know is an up and coming centre half and a good one in the making um, but in terms of numbers yeah they're dwindling uh, finally what with Paul Clayton up front. What have you said to him to, to really rejuvenate his game? He seems like you, you said a man possessed before. Again, he was dominant today and got a goal. He just seems to be um, an angry man at the minute, doesn't he? He's winning every physical battle. Um, it comes from within, really. I think confidence has to come to you. As a, a, it's, it's not a magic formula of saying anything to a player. We, we always back him. Um, we know that what he can bring as a contribution uh, not many people in the league can, uh, and certainly on, on a night like this, no one wants to play against Paul Clayton, and he's added another great header tonight. Um, proud of him.